Notice here how Bobby Jones, once he focuses, he sees the field. And, and watch how they reveal his, his vision of the field. I love this shot right here. It's almost magical. I mean, with the lights behind him, it's that thing where when the camera's got super shallow depth of field, you get the like circles of light behind him. It almost feels like majestic. And, and we're entering into this magic of movie making here. And the lighting, just the soft lighting on his face, his stare, uh, it, it's excellent, excellent work. Robert Redford knows what he's doing. And this shot right here, I mean, look at the lighting of this particular shot. I mean, he's almost like an angel, like a godlike figure who's about to hit a golf ball, but he does it in such a way that it's like magic. It's like, it's godlike. And he got a lot of shots he could choose from. Duffs and tops and skulls. But there's only one shot that's in perfect harmony with the field. One shot that's his. Authentic shot. In this part where Will Smith's character, Bagger Vance, is trying to teach Matt Damon's character, young Juna, just how to see the field. And watch how Will Smith kind of becomes this like narrator, like this voice of God as we kind of go on this journey with them. He in the field. So pay attention to the sound design here. And when I say sound design, it's kind of like the design of the audio, of, the, of not only just the dialogue, which is, which is prevalent and, and forefront, the music, sound effects. And it, it's designed in such a way that just kind of unravels and it just comes ethereal. And I really respect that. You got to seek that place which is so genuine. Okay, so now we bring the production audio back, the clapping. So now we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna see Juna's journey, Matt Damon's character. Seek it with your hands. Don't think about it. Feel it. Your hands is wiser than your head ever gonna be. Also notice like how long we sit on these shots. Like whether it's a shot of him looking, his eyes or his face. And what he's seeing versus like Happy Gilmore and how quick they cut from one to the other. In, in more of the dramatic tone, we want to sit with it. We want to feel the image. We want to feel the motion. We want to feel the music. Whereas in comedy, you want to just move quickly and get to the joke and, and time the comedy out versus like feeling out the emotions of drama. It does get a little poetic here. I'm a fan of those types of things. He's talking about more than just golf. He's talking about an authentic yeah. shot. Yes, they use golf as a metaphor to basically tap into what your purpose is, what you were designed for. And I know it's just a golf movie, but it's so much more than just that. Now notice how things slow down here. We're kind of getting in the zone as they say. And notice how like the background fades away. That's a special effect. But like you're in the scene and it's so, it's subtle and it's effective. And we're, we're seeing his vision. Remember I told you in Happy Gilmore about the point of view shots. Now watch how they go to Matt Damon's eyes and then we see what he sees and we see what his soul sees. I mean, this is very dramatic, I know, but it, it, it works, it works in this film. And I want you guys to uh, pay attention to that. Thank you. So right here, this is more cinematography than editing, but it's a classic Hitchcock move where they're pulling the camera back physically and they're zooming the lens in at the same time and it creates this depth of field effect. And it's his vision. We're with the character, we're with Juna's character, Matt Damon's character, as he's all of a sudden having this awakening on the field, seeing the field. So we're coming into his perspective, his point of view here, and we see what he sees. And it, it, it's, the scope just goes from here to like. So here we explore his point of view. 
And it's not just of the golf course, it's of the entire area, even mother nature, one could argue. And he's taking in his presence where he is on the field, but also in life. And it changes inside. And this is all done through image and sound. It's all done through filmmaking. And that's the magic of movies right here. This is an unconventional point of view shot versus what we see. So point of view is basically we see the character look at something and then you show with the camera what they're looking at. But granted, he can't look from where he's standing to all these things, but it's a different vision. It's not necessarily a physical vision. It's an inner vision, if you will. Uh, he, he's feeling the earth around him. He's feeling nature around him and, and within him. So the way these shots are put together, the way Robert Redford is directing this scene really kind of emphasizes just what you can do with point of view shots and what you can do with the magic of movie making. And this is your canvas and your painting. And you can awaken the audience to your own vision. Notice now how when he's about to swing, all the background noise drops, all the production dialogue drops. We hear the score. Sometimes silence is, is the loudest thing, right? So we kind of drop all those levels down and we're with him in that swing. And it's just so perfect. And it's all like in the post-production, the editing. Obviously it's also in the filming and how they designed this scene but it's executed in the editing as well. And I just want you guys to uh, pay attention to that. This is a great way to show just dramatic filmmaking. And I like this part here because we like switch from the ethereal, almost godlike filmmaking to just run of the mill, more standard, straight up. And you kind of need that to, to balance it out, to show the difference. I mean, if it was that type of filmmaking where he sees the entire field, meaning the world, the whole time, it would be a different movie. So it's, these magical moments are, are almost seldom in certain films like this, and therefore we value them more. And, and to feel the difference and notice the song now, how it changes, the pacing, how it changes, the whole feel of it changes. Because we're with him for that moment, and then we're, we're outside of that moment and now he's just going on. And all of a sudden, in the story, he's found his shot. He's seen the field and he's just authentic. He's authentic in his actions and his movements and his nature. <laughs> 